Hello everyone. My name is Pranshi Verma. In today's session, you will learn how to create a new Xcode project and then take a quick tour in Xcode. Because before application development, Xcode exploration is very important. Okay guys, before starting the session, I assumed that you know how to create an Apple ID and how to download Xcode from Apple Store. Okay, so now let us get started today's session. For creating new project in Xcode, pretty simple. Firstly, open Xcode. Xcode is mostly present in this var, in this dock of your MacBook. If present in this MacBook, just click on Xcode. This is the icon of Xcode and see this is your xcode first window if xcode is not present in this bar don't worry just click on this this search button and type xcode press enter xcode will open okay so guys in this way you can open xcode in your macbook okay so after opening this code you will find this window this is welcome xcode window here my Xcode version is version 12.5 12.8262. Okay, in this you can find three options. First option is create a new Xcode project. Second option is create an existing project. Third option open a project or file. Okay, guys, so in this we choose first option create a new project because here we are creating a new Xcode project. Okay, so I'm clicking on it. After that, you can find this window here. Choose a template for your, for your new project. Guys, here you can choose template for your new project. Maybe your project multi-platform, native, native applications. Second option is iOS. Maybe you want to create applications for iOS device, Mac OS, Watch OS, TV OS and other devices. So in these, I choose iOS because I'm creating here a iOS application in iOS template app is already selected. If not, you select it. After that, click on next. Choose options for your new project. In this first option is product name. In this, this is the name of your application throughout the development and when you publish this app. So you can change it very easily, but here this is your initial name for your application. For example, here I'm typing first project. Okay. Second option is your team. In this option you can add your account as a development team for the new project. Okay. Next one organization identifier. Organization identifier is used to create a unique identifier for your application on the app store. Okay, it's very important in your app development. Normally, it's just like reverse DNS notation. For example, com.burmapranshi, etc. Okay, and here this you can enter your name in this way. For example, com.yourname. Okay, next one is your interface. Interface including two types with the help of shift UI with the help of a storyboard. In Xcode, you can develop application in two ways with the help of shift UI application and with the help of a storyboard. So in this, I choose a storyboard by default. So you want to choose shift UI language. So it's up to you. You choose shift UI language for your user interface for your UI designing of your application okay but here i'm choosing a storyboard after that life cycle life cycle is depend on your interface if you choose a storyboard so your storyboard life cycle is depend on ui kit app delegate okay after that your language here you choose the programming language to be used throughout the application development here your shift is already chosen by default and guys shift is frequently used language for application development that use core data host and cloud kit includes test just leave the other settings as their default values 
make sure all the checkbox are unticked okay and then click next here see a new dialog box this is save dialog box when you want to save your project here i'm choosing desktop and you choose according to your choice other options if it's up to you it's your choice okay now after that click on create okay guys see fantastic you have now successfully created your new xcode project and this is the main xcode window okay so after successfully creating a new project in ios it's time to take a quick tour in xcode okay so let us get started guys let's start with here this is your minimize and close button and the th this part is your toolbar part okay toolbar is used to build and run your applications and view the progress of running task of your app in this the left side they all are the navigation buttons this one this one this one this is your navigation button it's used for toggles the navigator area on and off okay this is your navigator area with the help of this button you can hide or show your navigator area after that this is your play button play button is used to build and run your application after that this is button stops any currently running applications after that this is your scheme menu in this your application name is appear for example here my application name is fast project and after that your target device is appear here my target device is ipod touch 7th generation after that this is your status part here my project status is ready means ready for running if any error are arises in your project so this can it shows in the in this activity view after that this is library button library button displays user interface elements code snippets and other resources then this is your code review button code review button allows you to view past versions of the file you are currently editing then this is your inspector area and this is your inspector button inspector button is used to toggles the inspector area on or off like this now see this is your navigation area it contains all the information about your application for example your assets your main storyboard your, your view controller shift files scene delegate shift files app delegate shift files means all files and assets are present in the navigation area and of your application and it provides access of the various parts of your project my dear when you create a new project in xcode project navigator is displayed by default like this okay after that this is your editor area it allows you to edit source code user interfaces and other resources includes most of the information of your project for example identity or application deployment information app icons and launch images information and many other options are available resources tags information build settings build phases build rules etc okay after that you know very well this is your inspector area and this is your inspector button your inspector area allows you to view and edit information about items selected in the navigation area or the editor area for example name of your project location of your project full path of your project project format organization class prefix and you can choose any ui element so detail of that particular ui elements are present in this inspector area and and you can change easily Okay guys so this is a quick tour of your xcode now question is arises how to run xcode project it's pretty simple click on this play button after that launching first project 
However, X code is pretty much fast comparison to other IDE. And here launching first project. See, this is iOS simulator. And this is the first window of your application after execution. Okay, guys. So in this way, you can create a new project in Xcode and run your application in an iOS simulator. As well as you can change your simulator with the help of this button. Click on here in this scheme menu and choose according to your wish, according to your need, any simulator and just click on it after selecting the simulator click on play button for run the application okay guys so see you in the next session stay tuned make sure you subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you bye bye